者，身穿红色上衣的上港 Brazilian stars Hulk and Oscar, Shanghai SIPG's key signings demonstrate why they're among the world's most coveted players. They've been attracted to China's Super League by unprecedented spending on foreign talent. Carlos Tevez is now the world's highest paid player at reportedly three quarters of a million dollars a week. Not even Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi can command that kind of salary. I think that the championship is getting stronger. It is growing a lot and it is getting very competitive. But there are concerns about the sustainability of this financial outlay. Authorities capped the number of foreign players on a squad partly to cap excessive spending. They're also worried about squeezing out homegrown players who are under pressure to win the World Cup for their country by 2050. Right now, it's unlikely China will even make next year's tournament. The World Cup qualifying campaign is not going particularly well. And, and certainly people in Europe are looking towards the Chinese national team as, a, as, a, as, a, as I say, as, a, as an acid test, as a symbol of how far and how fast Chinese football is developing. Experts say the key to turning Chinese football into a global brand is simple, success on the field. If China can get two clubs in the final four of the Asian Champions League, that will do a great deal internationally for uh, building fan engagement. And as any fan will tell you, that kind of engagement means plenty of agony and ecstasy. Owen Fairclough, CGTN.